So today we're going to be talking about moving bees or moving beehives. There are three basic reasons why you would move bees or beehives. The, the first one would be if you've done a, a removal or a, a relocation and you just need to move the bees either for the, for the safety of the bees or for safety of animals. Uh, the other reason would be for pollination, crop pollination. So if you're moving from one farm to another to, to, to pollinate farmers crops. And the third reason would be for honey production. So moving your bees to other areas where they can produce honey. So distance, if you need to move bees a short distance, so a short distance being 10, 20 or 30 meters, you can do it in small increments on a, on a daily basis. So you can move them between two and three meters and the bees can at least still find their hive and their colony when they, when they come back from foraging. Long moves would be considered when, when they need to be loaded on a vehicle and transported. A minimum would be 1.5 kilometers. It's debatable on, on the minimum distance that you can move bees. A, a rule of thumb is 1.5 kilometers. Before moving your hives, you obviously have to close them up. So on our hives, we have a 30 millimeter a hole entrance. We have two of them. And that's, that's the exact size of a bottle cap, either for Coke, Sprite, Fanta, cream soda, or whatever. And we drill three millimeter holes in it because a bee can't put through a three millimeter hole. So that way it provides plenty of ventilation and we can easily plug the holes when we have to move halves and all we do is we have just a stick just to close the half up like that and a second one just like that so we can keep the bees closed and they can stay like that for, for a long period of time with plenty of ventilation. Once we put them down on the, on the new location of the transport we just screw screw the cap in again or the the stick in again and pull it out so what we've done is we've just put a little piece of say broomstick and cut the top of a bottle cap off and that's how we make our opening and closing device when it comes to hives that have square entrances then you can use anything that is slightly breathable like sponges some guys use uh, tissue paper some guys use cloth and hessian any, uh, any kind of sacking, something that can breathe. Obviously, it, it has to be pushed in fairly tight so the bees can't push it out. Not too much so that it, it completely closes off their ventilation. The most important thing when you're closing up a hive is that there's plenty of oxygen. The most important thing, you must please, please do not move hives with supers on. I have made this mistake and lost several colonies, especially when we have full supers. So when there's bumps on the road during transport or there's heat or whatever the case may be the your, your super frames the combs in your frames can shear that honey just drowns your bees that obviously can't escape it closes the entrances cuts off the oxygen you open your bees and it's just a sea of dead bees it's terrible so please make sure that the, the day before so you've got to do it the day before you can't remove your supers when you want to move your hives that night do it the morning before or the day before get those supers off get those hives closed up so all you have to do on the night when you want to move your hives, all you do is you just give them a few puffs of smoke to get the bees in that are on the outside, to calm them down a bit, plug your holes and move your hives. So make sure no supers on the hives. So once your hives are down and are on position, open them immediately. Don't, don't think you're going to place all your hives down on position and then come back and open them. Once that hive is down on its position, remove the caps or, or whatever you have closing your entrances because you do when you're tired you've moved lots of hives it's dark you have a bee suit on it's you can't always see what you're doing you forget hives closed and you you know, you can imagine what happens when you when you forget to open a hive come back and it's just dead bees okay so let's get to the plantation where we have trapped colonies and we, we will be moving them to an apiary on a farm tonight so let's go move those hives
a few moments later. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, if there are any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Um, we're always happy to, to help you guys with any questions you may have. Please remember to like and subscribe. We really appreciate it. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.